There's a Reddit post right now uh, calling me the absolute worst YouTuber in Genshin. Useless. My content is shit. Hundreds of comments, right? It's, it's the most liked thing on the Reddit right now is saying my content is absolute shit. And it's an interesting thing because obviously I'm helping a lot of people. And a lot of these videos have thousands of likes. But when you play a new game and no one knows who to watch, you're going to get a lot of people that just don't like you. So if you're a new content creator, you're jumping into a game and you are getting some hate, it's just because your audience hasn't found you yet. They will, but you're going to get a bunch of people that just don't like you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And if you quit, if you give up because of it, you're just throwing everything away. Yo, what is going on, guys? Recently, a YouTuber called MTASH put out a video saying he was quitting Genshin Impact, or at least quitting his paid account. Um, he put out a video titled, I Quit, Why I Am Going F2P or Free to Play in Genshin Impact, with a thumbnail that says, MTASH goes F2P, $7,000 account gone. This is my live reaction of this video, along with an analysis of his Twitter activity, some of the comments that he makes on Twitter and in this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, MTASHED here, and this is my main account. It's worth about $7,200 Canadian. That's how much I spent on the game. Uh, that's about $5,000 American. And I so right off the bat, he spent about 5K American dollars on his Genshin Impact uh, account. Uh, just for reference, uh, I know people who have spent $200. I have spent probably about $300 over the course of buying the battle pass and buying gems and stuff like that. Um, yeah, over the course of the game's release. I'm not going to be using it anymore, other than a couple of videos where I wanted to review a character like Bennett at Max Constellation, and a few other weapons and things here and there. But my main account is now going to be my... Those of you that don't know what Constellation is, Constellation is... Um, in this game, if you get duplicate characters, you unlock skills or passives when you get a duplicate character. So they sort of reward you for if you're pulling, if you're doing your summons and you get the same character, you power up that character, right? What up, Larry? Thanks for stopping account, by. And I don't want to play it anymore. On top of this, any of the videos where I did wishes and I was showing off all the wishes that I got, in the next 24 hours, I'm going to be taking those down and unlisting them because I refuse to promote the gotcha system in this game anymore. Now, that's a pretty big claim. So he's going to unlist all of his videos where he's talking about doing pulls or like doing summons or wishes, whatever, uh, whatever you want to call it. And I know that's a pretty big decision. Michael, why the hell would you spend $7,200 on a damn game and then not use it? Well, there's a couple things that go into that, and I want to explain myself. Number one, there's a lot of people that message and say, oh my god, you have a gambling addiction. There are so many comments on those videos saying, you have a problem, you need help. Michael, are you okay? Like, there's a lot of people that are worried, and you should be. If any sane person was spending this kind of money on a video game for a video game weapon or a video game passive i would honestly say unless you have an immense amount of disposable income to 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 look at yourself in the mirror and potentially get help there are very addictive practices in this game and i am sorry if i ever baited you um it's a gotcha game that's the point like that's the point um, we'll talk more about that later. ...you into wishing yourself. I do feel guilty about that. I have had a, a tough time sleeping. I'm not kidding you guys. I, uh, I regret covering this game. I actually am starting to tear up because I'm a content creator and I can write this off as a business expense. And my one video, my one video 
My tips video has made $7,300. It has paid for every wish I've ever made on this account. So a uh, good thing to take note of is he spent uh, equivalent of 7,000 7, Canadian or whatever, 5,000 American. In one of his videos, he immediately made a uh, profit on that. So in one of his videos, he made more than he spent. And I know that other people can't do that. And I know that probably with my content, people have spent money on this game and wished on this. I'm sorry. I'm leaving this in the video because I think this is important. He's supposed to be crying right now. Let's go back. Every wish I've ever made on this account. And I know that other people can't do that. And I know that probably with my content, people have spent money on this game and wished on this. I'm sorry. I'm leaving this in the video because I think this is important. There are people that can't do this as a job. I'm extremely fortunate and I can, I, I've profited a ton off this game, but I worry that, I worry that me promoting this game has maybe led to holy can't even get through this. I'm worried that me promoting this game and showing off these weapons has baited other people into spending money on this game and maybe potentially hurting them. So he's talking about how he's worried about maybe his videos have encouraged people to spend more money on this game. Um, and that he feels bad about it and he feels guilty. He also says that he's made a huge profit off of this game already. Let's continue. Financially. And I think that this system is very predatory. I think that this system is gambling and the gotcha game. Yes. It's designed to be predatory. Yes. It's de that's how it's designed. And, I, and, and everyone who's reaching out to me and is like, hey, man, stop. You should have been. You should say that to everybody. I'm saying it to you now. This, this, I can't believe that this exists in the game. And I refuse to promote it. I, I, I can't do it, and I'm so sorry that I did. And, and you know what, Mihoyo, I know you're not sponsoring me. I don't give it. I don't care. I don't care. If we look at this game as a free-to-play game... I think that this thing kicks butt. You go explore around, you get some cool characters. But I cannot in goodwill promote this game any further, and I cannot spend another dime on it because I feel dirty about it. Now, there's a couple characters out of interest to, you know, you know I think people probably want to see what does a Max Constellation Bennett do? It's not gambling. Kappa. So he's talking about not promoting this game anymore. Um, he's not going to spend any more money on this game. Uh, my argument would be he's already, he's already spent like 7,000 Canadian dollars on this game. Like I would say you're pretty much set. Like it's kind of a, it's kind of a lousy time. Like after you've unlocked everything and after you've got everything you could possibly want, it's kind of a lousy time to then say, I'm done with this game. I'm going free to play. Uh, I'm sorry I promoted a gotcha game as a gotcha game. How could this game do this to me? Yeah. How to spot a Canadian? They say sorry every five seconds. Some tasty YouTube apology. Yeah, the crying was like... Yeah. Making an exposed video and going to ignore the facts and attack him? Ignore what facts? Or rather, what facts have I ignored so far? Have I not just been responding to what we're all watching together? Weird. That's a weird comment, Neil. Uh, okay. Let's carry on. And I will make that video because hypothetically, you could get it as a free-to-play. And if you wished a bunch, you could get maxed out Sucrose. And I plan to make those videos eventually. But I am going free-to-play because I refuse to play on this account anymore other than to make those quick little guides. Um, if there's a new character coming out in the game... I will do a test. You know, they've got the tests for the different characters. I will review them in there. I will look at their constellation. I think I've played the game enough. But I am not 
By the way, they have a trial run of every five-star character. Um, yeah, they have trials for the five-star characters. So you don't have to wish to play them. It's kind of like a test run to see, like, oh, hey, you know. Oh, it was a joke? Okay, Neil, sorry. Spending enough Your sarcasm is difficult to detect in a uh, Twitch chat message. Anyway, let's carry on. Another dollar on this game. It, it's just, I, 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 something snapped in me the past, the past couple days and viewership is good. When I wish on this game, I, I could get 5,000, I could get 10,000 viewers on Twitch. I can get the most viewers I've ever had on Twitch and I refuse to do it ever again. I just can't do it. And you know, on my free to play account, we got some primo gems. I'm sure that'll be a fun event when I finally wish on that account and, you know, maybe go for one of the cool new characters, but this game is is crooked in my opinion, and uh, I'm gonna just flat out say it. This is a this is a bit of a protest, and so um, you know I'm gonna chip away at this account. I'm almost at AR forty five. This is a bit of a protest. A protest. Uh. So that protest lasted one day. So there's two more videos from Mtash on Genshin Impact after his protest, where he's not going to promote the game anymore. And and I, and and everyone who's reaching out to me and is like, "Hey man, stop! You should have been. You should say that to everybody." I'm. Oh, this is when he was crying. Uh, you know, if you really wanted to protest the spending, you could have just stopped using his pay-to-win account and wait to make new videos when he caught up with his free-to-play account. That is a very good point. Evan. But I've got pretty well every quest in the game. So, you know, because I play this game full time and uh, and I can stream full time, twitch.tv slash mtashed, I'm actually going to catch up relatively quickly because the daily experience is one of the main things. So most likely once I'm done leveling up and based on my other account, you know, I did do the resin refills uh, quite a bit. Can we just go back to the crying? What was the crying for? Like... If he was really getting emotional about that, that's fine. But I regret covering this game. I actually am starting to tear up because I'm a content creator and I can write this off as a business expense. And my one video, my one video, my tips video has made $7,300. It has paid for every wish I've ever made on this account. And I know that other people can't do that. And I know that probably with my content, People have spent money on this game and wished on this. I'm sorry. I'm leaving this in the video because I think this is important. Bro, that's some really good Twitch acting right there. That's some really good acting. False. It's actually very bad acting. You know how you can instantly tell when someone is fake crying is they um, play up the fact that they're crying instead of just crying. In real life, have you ever, I mean, even in a video, have you ever, some, someone who's genuinely getting emotional about something, like, people don't want to cry. People don't want to cry in real life. I mean, you know, when I was in acting school, they would, the note that we would always get when we would have to cry or pretend to cry or whatever is people in real life don't want to cry. So when you're in a scene where you have to cry, that should be your motivation and it's a lot easier and it's a lot more believable because you're not real people in real life don't want to cry they're crying because of something that unfortunate that happened you know what i mean what up marcelo thanks for letting us know that you're tearing up right now thank you so much responders love to cry well that's fair that's fair every quest in the game so you know because i play this game full time and uh, and I can stream full time, twitch.tv slash mtashed. I'm actually man, that was like three minutes away from I've crying to a account. plug. And I know that other people can't do that. And I know that four minutes probably away with my content. <laughs> people have <laughs> spent money on this game and wished on this. I'm sorry, I'm leaving this in the video because of course you're leaving it in the video. Why would you pretend to cry and? And then take it out of the video. That's kind of that's a waste of time. 
I'm protesting this game and I'm crying because I probably enabled a bunch of people's gambling addictions. Anyway, I stream on twitch.tv forward slash mtashed. Almost tied it. Seven point. All right, I've seen enough. Let's hop on over to mtashed Twitter. So we made this video. Uh, I'm going free to play. I feel so bad. I'm unlisting all of the videos, right? I'm unlisting all the videos uh, that encourage, um, you know, people to spend money. Well, let's go over to Mtash Twitter. He has 101.3K followers. Did he actually unlist the videos? He did. Um, except for the fact that uh, these videos are still listed in his tweets. Oh, sponsored by ViewSonic. I forgot about that. Going over. Okay, so what I'm scrolling for. See, I'm playing Pokemon. No. Um, so what I would like to point out, what I'm scrolling for is there was a couple of tweets that he put out that he's obviously sponsored by ViewSonic, blah, blah, blah. This one is now unlisted. Uh, this video has 122,000 views. It premiered on October 5th. So, um, put the video out on the 16th. I mean, uh, 26th, right? Go. I'm going to give you one little tent pull and we're going to see what we got. We're going to see if we get. So basically. Yeah, it's, it's my. He's pulling in the video. Pulling, pulling, pulling. So he did unlist the videos. My problem is that number one, he didn't just straight up delete them. Right? If you're going to unlist them, you already made the money. Just go ahead and delete it. It's not a miracle of editing. There's nothing really to be proud of other than the fact that, you know, you can go back and watch it or whatever. And this isn't like an MTash exposed thing. I'm just saying... Like, a perfect example is something like this. Happiest I've been in ages with content. I love when Destiny updates because there's so much positivity and new stuff to discover. I'm in my element when things are fresh and I'm having fun. Cool. But it's very, like, it's a very, how do I say it? Like, st statistics-focused tweet. And that's probably my biggest problem is he is so focused. Like he was saying his ROI is 20 to one return on investment is 20 to one. Um, he's constantly posting all of his stats, all the money that he's made off of Genshin. I finally did it. 1 million views on the stupid stat screen. Been my soul, uh, been my goal since I started blah, blah, blah. Go back to Destiny. I broke my 48-hour uh, view record by doubled and held it for four days. Like, it isn't gambling if it's Genshin. Last video hit 1 million views. Was a Division 1 DPS guide. Took three years. And last video hit it in two weeks. Like, he's obviously seen a huge amount of success with Genshin. And continues to post about it all over on Twitter and is now at some point where he spent too much money or his wife got mad or I don't know. Um, but it's just, it's, it's weird to me that it's immediately apparent that this is a gotcha game. He is so insanely... Uh, adamant about how much money that he spent on the game, continues to spend it, multiple videos. Now they're all enlisted because he feels bad that maybe he enabled some people like, maybe, oh, I'm going to cry and maybe, you know, I, uh, some of my videos encourage, you know, some people's unhealthy spending habits. It's like, dude, you're all over Twitter posting your view count every single day, all the time. You know exactly how many people are seeing your videos. Like, you absolutely know. 
So what I think happened is that the, a new Destiny update came out or some, something in his life other than what he's talking about in this Genshin video had to have happened and he decided, I'm not going to cover Genshin anymore. But when he was making money, he said that he made, what is it, like 7,300 off of one video. So he spent 7,000 Canadian and then made 7,300 on one of his tips videos. Well, like he has multiple videos that have millions of views. This one has 122,000. So it's not like, you know, what you do is say, hey, I'm a content creator. I can write this off as a business expense. This is all a tax write-off. I'm doing this for content. And then you spend all your content creator money. He had, he had ViewSonic sponsor one of his streams and all he did that stream was pull or summon or whatever you want to call or gamble, whatever you want to call it, right? So on top of the money that he's going to make from that video, he's got the sponsorship money. And if his return on investment is a ratio of 20 to 1, then it doesn't matter how much money he's spending on Genshin Impact because between sponsorships and his video revenue, he's going to make that back literally the same day plus more at a return of investment apparently of 20 to 1. So I understand that it's very easy to say, oh, I feel bad because I enabled people to fund their gambling addiction. But don't pretend like that's the reason that you're stopping. You're burnt out. You want to do something else. You want to play Destiny. Don't, don't uh, pander to something that everyone can agree on. It's like, oh, I'm stopping Genshin because murder is bad. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm stopping playing Genshin because it's predatory. Yeah, dude, it's predatory. You knew it was predatory on day one. You have tweets on your Twitter timeline about it being a gotcha. You have that little joke tweet in quotes. It's not gambling if it's Genshin. How long ago did you do this? On the 26th, post of the video. I'm excited to play Destiny again on the 18th. More Destiny tweets. And then all of a sudden he wants to go free to play. I don't know. I just, I, I, f yeah, he's a businessman. He's all about his statistics. He's all about his views. He's all about his revenue. But what irritates me is not that he is like that. There's a ton of people like that. It's a good business mind to have. What irritates me is one day he's like, let's get these pulls. Posting videos with thumbnails that have I spent $1,000 or whatever. ViewSonic sponsored the stream and all he's doing is spending money on pools and stuff like that. I can write this off as a business expense. And then the next day, oh, I feel so bad. Yeah, no kidding, bro. You want to get back into Destiny. You're done with Genshin. You know, take your views, take your ad revenue and pack it up. Another thing that irritates me is all of his tweets talking about people in the comment section like, go back to Destiny, go back to this, go back to that, whatever. And he doesn't say that he likes Genshin. He doesn't say that he's having a great time. He doesn't say, leave me alone. This is something that I love to do. And uh, this is my creative expression. He just posts a chart of his stats. If you guys were like, stop playing Genshin Impact go back to playing Pokemon. And then I just tweeted out a picture of like a stack of money. Like what kind of response is that? Number one, number two, it's kind of indicative of my character. You know what I mean? Like where my head is at. Genshin has gone too far this time. Gambling is wrong and bad, bad wrong or badong. Yes. Gambling is badong. And from this day forth, I should be the opposite of badong. Ganadab. Yes, exactly. I get the reasoning that he is using in saying these things in this video, but I do not think that, you know, going free to play or quitting Genshin or protesting Genshin or saying everything and crying and all that. I do not think that that is the place that he is coming from with Genshin. He wants to go back to playing destiny, making more destiny guides. Cause that's what he's known for, right? Genshin impact went viral and he hit a hot streak. So now he's going to quit while he's ahead, go back to Destiny, cover all the new content, and then, like he said, make Genshin update videos every five levels. Which basically means, well, we'll see.
So going from Destiny, the last Destiny video. Destiny 2, this combo makes Hunter spam, you know, 57k views. First Genshin Impact video, 334k, 282k, 734k, 132k, 850k, a million views, a million point seven views, 45k, 452k, a million views, 134k, 403k. So at any point between, what was this date? Engine Impact, I spent $600. So you don't. Let's see. On October 1st, I spent $600, so you don't. So at any point from October 1st all the way to the 26th, million views. he could have suddenly realized, man, I might be promoting someone's unhealthy gambling addiction. I guess maybe it just took him that long to realize that, or maybe his highly edited, uh, high production value, high quality videos take that long to edit. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that is my reaction to MTash's I Quit, Why I'm Going Free to Play in Genshin Impact video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Did I go in too hard? Am I just totally off base? I don't know. I spent $600, so you don't. Oh, by the way, here's a totally innocent Twitch link that you can click. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching the video. I uh, appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch, where I'm going to be spending thousands of dollars on Genshin Impact. But there's a Reddit post right now uh, calling me the absolute worst YouTuber in Genshin. Useless. My content is shit. Hundreds of comments, right? It's, it's the most liked thing on the Reddit right now is saying my content is absolute shit. And it's an interesting thing because obviously I'm helping a lot of people. And a lot of these videos have thousands of likes. But when you play a new game and no one knows who to watch, you're going to get a lot of people that just don't like you. So if you're a new content creator or you're jumping into a game and you are getting some hate, it's just because your audience hasn't found you yet. They will, but you're going to get a bunch of people that just don't like you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And if you quit, if you give up because of it, you're just throwing everything away.